is a young film. It's a film about people wanting to live life uh, to the excessive. It's about glamour, it's about parties, it's about music, it's about fun, it's about drugs, it's about sex. But most of all, soundtrack is a story of the triumph of a human spirit. It's a story which uh, of, of, of a person who overcomes the one thing which you think he can't. Ronak had something every DJ wanted. Magical instincts. So for me, DJ Ronak is a wonderful character, essayed wonderfully by this young man Rajiv. And uh, it's a very real character because here's this guy who comes from a small town to uh, make music. And he gets a break. Ronak is a guy who who has music flowing in his blood, who loves parties, who loves all the extremes of life. Basically, he's an extremist and um, who doesn't cross boundaries, I guess, boundaries cross him. So he's one mad character, which probably I'm portraying for the first time. He was working as a music composer in the day and by night he was a DJ and you know, going from home to studio, studio to the club, club to the studio was uh, just burning him out at some level. Um, the good things about Ronak were that despite being a small town boy, he adapted very fast into the big city. Uh, the character, um, he started uh, living an excessive lifestyle. He started, um, I mean that just came from where he was actually. He's a, he's a guy who's, who's, a, who's a workaholic, who's an excessive person. And uh, you know, everybody liked him, everybody wanted to be around him, so he spent a lot of time with people, with, uh, with friends. Uh, then gradually, you know, his uh, his burnout started. Uh, it, it's a combination of the excessive lifestyle he's leading, a lot of drugs he's getting into, uh, which slowly started to cause you know, sleeplessness, uh, which started to cause um, just a little, you know, little uh, delusion once in a while. Um, then came a point where you know there was a clinical problem as well. There's a debilitating illness which at some level was hereditary, his father's also been through that before him. And that slowly started to distract his uh, distract him from what he what he wanted to do, which was to make music. And uh, you know, and one fine day he uh, he reached a point where no musician wants to be has this debilitating problem which is besetting him in stages, progressively going stone deaf. Rajiv I have known only as an actor on television and he's a, he's a huge star, he's a huge star but uh, coming onto this set I've met a wonderful, wonderful, warm, friendly, funny, intelligent uh, young man and uh, I must reiterate the word intelligent because he's a guy you know initially I thought that he was questioning too many things too often but once we're on the shoot, I realize that all those questions are in the right perspective and it all worked for the betterment of the scene. Having a journey where you know he, he sort of comes up with this handicap, which is his deafness. Um, very few people that I would think of, but he has just watched the character to life. So uh, Rajiv, uh, for me personally, work with has been a wonderful co-actor. He's always kept it comfortable. There are no uh, issues as such. He's really friendly and nice and warm. And great energy to have around set. He's done a fantastic, fantastic job. Uh, I've seen Rajiv and Amir, and I loved his performance. Um, I've seen him often on TV in Sach Ka Samna um, and I remember looking at him, his persona on TV in the suit and the long hair thinking how will he play this wild DJ but I think that they've styled him very well and uh, uh, I know that he's also exploring limits as an actor that he hasn't been to before.
Nirav always had this whole idea of me wearing a tattoo. I have a very cool tattoo uh, in the back, which is uh, in the shape of a guitar. Uh, you'll see um, in a lot of portions of the film me uh, in that tattoo. Uh, lenses were again the idea of uh, Nirav. I he knew that it is not easy to accept somebody with a different color of eyes, but he was very convinced that his Ronak would look different. He would have light colored eyes. And when we did the look test, um, I think uh, it appealed to everyone. Rajiv is a very good actor. He is a guy who thinks um, what he needs to do every day. He comes prepared without without being um, anal or without being you know uh, madly uh, method or. Uh, you know, trying to be too filmy or, or too real. He brings um, uh, he brings a lot to the table in terms of his preparation, in which which is always beneficial to a director when he's, uh, he's working on the set. Imagine a musicians like you know, without sound. Well, don't get that soundtrack for you. That's DJ Ron. <laughs> In this uh, film, it's all one Pete Tong in about uh, 2005 or 2006. And I've always been fascinated with uh, films which can bring in a non-visual element into into cinema. Um, so this in, in this film, there was you know, there was a lot of play with sound, uh, the lack of it, and um, the decadence of sound as as the character goes uh, uh, through his journey. Um, so. In that sense, you know, my, my, one of my first screen credits was as a sound designer. So um, it's a, it was a film which um, was a series of music videos back to back. Um, it was a film about sound design, and and that's uh, something which I said, you know, I actually might be very good at this. Uh, let me give it a shot. So I went about uh, asking the original producers for the remake rights. It took quite a while to get there, um, but eventually, you know, they were quite um, quite happy, saying, "Really, you want to make a Hollywood film?" And I said, "Yeah." And uh, we've, we've um, uh, you know, after a couple of years, uh, we took the rights and uh, started scripting and started uh, adapting the film to an Indian context. Nirav is a very understated guy. Nirav is a guy who's never over the top in terms of his expressions, in terms of his compliments, in terms of his uh, buking anyone. I think he's a very mild person, which means that he can always carry a sane mind on his shoulders, which means that he can always be controlled, in, in control. I've rarely seen him go mad on the set. I think he understands um, all the departments. He's uh, been involved in creative aspects of the film, uh, films earlier, not soundtrack. He's also uh, been an editor. So I think he has his strengths in play. I've done many films uh, with first-time directors. The zeal and enthusiasm with which people who are working on a film for the first time. Uh, he's very passionate about music. He's very passionate about this film. And uh, it's not that, I mean, I've worked with experienced directors as well, it's not that they become blasé, but there is a zeal about making your first film and establishing yourself and making your mark, especially in an industry where people come and go. And you really know that, um, you know, your first impression is, is very important. So I think that's why uh, the kind of support, the kind of um, zeal with, with that everyone's working on soundtrack is special. The other part of the energy that I like about this unit is that it is, uh, everyone's come with their family, so there's this Wonderful Everyone's come with their family. Yeah. My family isn't there. That, that's because you can't hear. So I'm not entitled to a family no. because I'm deaf. Yeah. Do you that's have a horrible thing to say. Do you have family in here? Is the deaf community listening to this? No, they can't listen. <laughs> they can't listen, but they can listen. <laughs> there you go. So it's this wonderful. See, yeah, everyone's come with their daughters and things and it's late, it's late, it's nearing 12, midnight and it's brilliant, it's a Saturday evening and you can see, so as energy at this hour, even at this hour. Hamesha, Tusha, Rashta, Hota hai. Aur Mushti, Purjada, Beautiful. Le chalo, mujhe, jannat ava. Soha is a consummate actor. Uh, Soha is a she's a very intelligent woman and uh, a very very hardworking uh, actor. I have not had enough opportunities of working with people who are 
way senior in terms of body of work in in, in films for me soha is um, is quite a senior uh, not in age but i'm sure in in terms of uh, the body of work that she's done despite that she puts in i think 100% of her uh, effort in before every scene i've seen her do all the classes all the deaf and dumb classes diligently i've seen her learn uh, sign language uh, and she's been a she's a she's a very cooperative co-actor you know she made me feel very comfortable while we were doing um, the scenes and um, it seemed as if i knew soha from many many years that's i think a great quality in any actor i enjoyed felt a bit complex at moments so i kept her hand on my hand complex yeah it's the color difference Suddenly okay. I realized I need to get my hands on it. I'll give you some money. Please do. Three weeks. Totally. By the end of the show, I'll be as fair as possible. Um, obviously, I like the script. That's why I'm here. In fact, I think it's a very powerful script. Um, and uh, I think as an actor, obviously, I'm uh, somewhat challenged by my character, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. And it's the first time I'm playing a character who is um, who's deaf um, and who has a speech impediment. So there's lots of things to work on, um, and uh, it should be fun. And I think that we've got a bunch of very enthusiastic people working on this film. Uh, everyone who believes in it, and um, and so that's also good. And it's um, I believe. a haunted location that we're shooting at today and the idea is to back up by sundown and uh, our designer on the film our stylist Fabiha claims that uh, women are very prone to being possessed in these areas especially women with long hair who leave their hair open which is why i have tied up my hair a little bit in this key so how brought in more to the to the script than the script gave out despite it being a very good script otana professionalism and her preparation for every shot every dialogue every uh, moment was something as a first time director i could have imagined that it so i am blessed to have had i don't think any days got more to the table than so i did also as a character is a character called gauri who is actually grown up in an environment which where art has a lot to do with everyday life she's a free spirited character she is a character who's uh, uh, who's not taken down by the fact that she is uh, she's uh, you know technically handicapped but uh, she's a person who believes that uh, she's not handicapped but she's special <laughs> obviously for obvious reasons a challenge for me which is why i was immediately attracted to doing it as an actor because it involves me having to learn a whole new skill set um i've never uh played a character that has any kind of disability before so to learn sign language to learn um and try and adopt some kind of speech impediment uh and yet to play someone who is quite normal and quite fun loving um you know was was i think uh, interesting for me as an actor we had some crazy shoot here and uh, there's a lot of making out scenes here it's been crazy my chemistry with mrinalini is uh, is rocking i think she's a she's a lovely girl uh, i think she's a wonderful wonderful girl i i really enjoyed doing scenes with her we both were very shy doing <laughs> a couple of scenes so we stuck a chemistry right there we both were very uncomfortable doing a few scenes so our chemistry stuck right there so we got the chemistry right on screen by the time we were to uh, shoot those scenes she's a very very comfortable co star and uh, a lovely girl I don't really think my character has a very negative connotation. Uh she is who she is and uh, as per the film and as per my character she is uh 
slightly aggressive girl. She will not take rubbish from anybody. If that means getting into a physical fight, then she will get into a physical fight. And uh, it's it's uh, it's been done. And um, she's extremely assertive herself. No one messes with her. No one passes crosses her path. She's not used to it. That's who she is. <laughs> songs are worth dying yes, for. It's, so a, it's a film about music, so you can't really not have great music. And uh, it's going to be a show. Yeah, I mean, I can proudly say that we have superb music and soundtrack. Um, the, the pundits doing the music now. The medieval pundits are known for fantastic, fantastic music. And um, really excited about the feedback one's going to get. I love the medieval pundits and so far, all the music that I've heard of theirs on this set has been stuck in my head and I've been doing this non-stop. So, I mean, it's great. Um, this music needs to get out to more people and hopefully this film will get that music out to more people. It's a fantastic film, the kind of music and everything. It's very in a hip new zone. Oh, it's kind of it's something that people have not really, really made here. That's, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun.